do you guys actually know what the watchtower does in rise of kingdoms mm, yeah not really me neither so let's talk about it <laughs> what's going on guys cheers I know what you're thinking. I'm New York. Why aren't you drinking gamer stuff? So listen, it's 10 30 p.m. Okay, if I drink it right now, I'm, I'm not going to bed. L look at the chat. Look at the chat. You, you know something sus is going on down there. You, you know, look at that. That shock.png. That's how you know. Anyway, we're going to talk about the Watchtower a little bit here in this video, but I also later in the video, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. Okay, so make sure you stick around for that. And then we're going to pop open 441 gold keys near the end of the video. But do you guys even think about the Watchtower anymore? Like, I. I I literally ever since hitting city hall 25 and maxing out my tech i just completely forgot the watchtower even existed i mean i have over 10,000 arrow of resistance and i remember back in the day when i was trying to build up that watchtower getting my hands on these just felt like it was taking forever and don't even get me started about book of the covenant man these things were the bane of my existence when i was trying trying to get t5 so what exactly does the watchtower do if we spend all of this time collecting all of these arrows leveling this building all the way up to 25 i don't even know what the watchtower does you see here it's got a, an attack of 500,000. what does that even mean and it has a health of 50,000. are these the same stats as when we're taking a look at like a troop for example i mean my tier 4 infantry here has 192 attack and 197 health how, how could the how could the attack of the watchtower be 10 times as high as its health when if you look at a troop the stats are pretty much uh, close to even i mean 50,000 health is equivalent to 253 tier four units here like that's nothing and then to make it even more confusing we come onto this screen and it says attack is at a hundred percent so i'm assuming that if your watchtower is perfectly intact it's dealing all 500,000 attack how does that translate into damage and then also what's the troop protection rate of 30 percent so I, I did the thing that any logical human would do and i clicked the little eye here and it gives me four bullet points okay it says it automatically attacks invading enemies great so if your city is getting hit the watchtower hits back even if you're offline cool beans then it says when the city garrison is under attack watchtowers will absorb a percentage of the damage dealt by the enemy so are they talking about the health statistic that is associated here with the garrison or are they talking about the 30 percent troop protection rate or maybe it's both i have no idea then it says watchtower health will automatically recover at a rate of one percent per minute okay so that's not very fast but whatever and then down here it says watchtower attack and troop protection rate are linked to watchtower status so basically if your city if it gets burned down to zero then your watchtower is not going to be doing anything so i wanted a way to sort of test this out but you guys know i'm too much of a pussy to just go ahead and hit somebody's city but great news we have expedition levels so we're going to go in here and we're going to just throw in uh, a random army and we're just going to attack the city okay we're just going to jump in we're going to hit up it doesn't even matter you can see at the top here this target city has 2.1 million units with a watchtower health i'm assuming because that's the same health statistic of 50,000. okay so we got my boy guan yu with alexander secondary coming in here coming in hot boys you already know we about to burn this bad boy burn it to the ground uh and let's keep an eye here on the on the on the numbers all right so this red bar is the units right and we see the watchtower going down going down going down and we get the first skill shot and it's gone it's over the watchtower is gone so it was like what five seconds the watchtower is around for five seconds maybe six seconds tops like so once that first skill shot goes, goes off it's done like the watchtower is over so what even is the watchtower is the watchtower equivalent to fifty thousand you tier four units tier three units i don't even know i i i'm i'm i'm, I'm confused i mean let's let's see this again like is there any noticeable difference between the damage i'm dealing right before the watchtower goes down and then right after the watchtower goes down i mean it looks like i'm dealing 20 17 17 17 19 16 18 my normal attack and counterattack damage is is pretty much consistent the entire time like that it doesn't change at all so it's not even like that 30 percent troop protection rate really seems like it's doing much of anything and and in a matter of fact it doesn't really matter because the watchtower is dead in five six seconds anyway so you're telling me i spent months grinding like low harsh trials so i can get my watchtower to level 25 so that way if somebody hits my city it lasts for five seconds my watchtower is a one pump chump boys like what what's it's it's over it's over already and remember that was a city with two million units in it i don't even know how, how many troops do i even have i have 3.1 million guys really what it boils down to and, I, and this it, it hit me okay it hit me and i know what the watchtower does 
I know what it is. I know you're sitting there, you are anxious. You can't wait to find out what's the secret to the watchtower. What does the watchtower actually do? It gets it gets destroyed in six seconds. What could what could it possibly be? Guys, listen. The point of the watchtower is ready. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Okay, I was too too lazy to edit that in. Okay, great. It's to slow down your progression to tier five troops, baby. Let's go. Nah, but seriously, that's literally it. Like this is literally a, a mechanic that lots of mobile games add where they just put in some sort of artificial progression metric or system into the game that is difficult and grindy and time consuming to get through. And of course you can sort of just buy your way to the top because everybody knows that you could just spend gems to get arrows of resistance. So if you don't want to go through all of that, well, great news. You could just spend money to avoid it but yeah that's literally it it is an artificial roadblock to you getting tier five units and it serves literally no other purpose i mean you saw how quickly it dies it literally doesn't do anything there's all sorts of text and all sorts of numbers and health and attack and all this stuff guys it doesn't do anything okay and and, and i'm being i'm being slightly facetious like sure it does do damage for those first five turns or whatever but in the grand scheme of things you spent months grinding this thing literally just for the opportunity to get your academy to 25 that's literally all it is that's all it is that's all you did and there's no point the only the, if they took watchtowers out of the game it wouldn't affect any city rallies it wouldn't change how people play it would do nothing other than make you get t5 sooner because it's a literally a useless building and that's really what's so frustrating about leveling up the watchtower right that that's the that's the annoying part and that really begs the question do you guys ever think about this do you ever think about the the types of like intentionally frustrating systems that game developers add into their games just to like keep you playing for longer like it artificially drags out your play time even though getting arrows of resistance is not fun all right you have to to grind barbarians and the drop rate is absolutely abysmal and again you can do the low harsh trial but that doesn't come around all the time so it's just an artificial way of keeping you playing it, you, you ever think about that and this is not just rise of kingdoms this happens in so many games especially in mmo rpgs like you're forced to continually you know grind in world of warcraft you want to get a specific mount well guess what it's got a one percent drop rate so have fun doing that dungeon over and over and over again for months just to get that one different slightly different colored mount that you want to ride i mean it's pretty much the same thing with loot boxes too right if there's a, if there's a way that you can get something and it only comes out of a loot box well then you got to grind to get the loot box just the way you can get the item the watchtower is pretty much the same thing you got to grind the barbs and and you got to hope for a good drop rate of these of these arrows of resistance all for literally no reason because it goes away immediately right it gets it gets zeroed instantaneously when you're getting rallied uh and it, and it does nothing after that and it's only so that way you can get the rest of your stuff to 25. Like that's literally it. That's the only porn point of arrows of resistance. And when I realized that, I don't know, I kind of felt like an idiot, right? I kind of feel like, Hey, I kind of I probably wasted my time getting all that up there right now. It's inevitable, right? That's the hard part is that you can't not do it if you want to play the game, but you know, just things like that. It's just, it's sort of lazy to me, right? It feels kind of like lazy game design. Like you have this building here, like you could make it do something like make it do something cool right or, or make you know make it make a commander uh, that you put on your wall like let's say you put artemis on the wall and she increases watchtower attack by like five thousand percent or something like that i don't know do something with it man i spent months trying to get this thing all the way to 25 and i'm getting nothing out of it so i, I don't know like think of something to do with it maybe it, it, it's crazy and it, and, and it's sort of it sort of pissed me off and it's already 11 o'clock and i'm yelling about a freaking mobile game anyway anyway that's my that's my stupid rant guys the secret that I want to tell you and let's go ahead and open up this silver key the secret is that the day you're watching this September 12th it's my birthday it's my birthday and one of the important points about me making this video is because I am going to be away for three days uh, and I don't have any content planned for that for those days besides this video and I didn't want to go that long without posting so I wanted to you know just make this video for you guys let you know hey give me a couple days so I can make some more content if you don't like the video we're not friends basically because it's like it's my it's literally my birthday if you don't like the video on my birthday and subscribe to the channel like it's literally we're not friends anymore okay so I'm just putting that out there just that's you don't have to do anything that's my gift okay just click the button it takes a second and I'll love you forever and we're best friends with that out of the way let's go ahead and open the 400 
and 41 gold keys i don't even know why i've been saving these i just started saving them and then it and then once it hit like 200 i was like oh, i should open them and then i was like oh, i'll save it for a video and then it hit 300 and i was like oh well you know i can do it. and then it hit 400 i'm like okay i gotta open these keys so let's just open all of them uh we're gonna see how many gold heads we get out of 441 gold keys i'm just hoping for basically like mulan and that's pretty much it we're just gonna open all we're just gonna rip the whole shit let's go ready one two three boom and i gotta confirm i'm not looking i'm not looking i'm not looking 151 hours of speed ups we got a little bit of food and wood doesn't it blow your mind that you can't get stone or gold from gold keys like you literally can't get gold out of a golden key bro what is that anyway we got 82 dazzling starlight sculptures we got four bundles which is nice we got a single blessed man the drop rate on that is trash 18 sarka boys 18 sarka let's go i've been dying for more of her that's incredible i love that um oh my goodness we got so much stuff here okay um we get a ton of epic commanders we got four bjorn we got six matilda we got two osman two bybars two belisarius five plagues one Boudica. Boudica is rare okay so we're getting to legendaries here we don't care about the purple shit okay we got 23 ragnar okay not bad let's scroll up here a little bit seven mulan dude i better have gotten like seven full summons of her we got 23 mehmed 12 ashita i already finished sunduk i already finished cleopatra 15 el Cid. that's good that's nice okay one summon of mulan dude it's literally gonna be my birthday tomorrow like i'm recording this in the 11th obviously but you know you're watching on the 12th and this is what this is how rise of kingdoms treats me it's how they treat me okay 25 charles martel 25 Tsao Tsao, two frederick why is he so rare what the hell we got 17 julius caesar and we got four ashita listen i had an expertise to him so i'll take it the cleopatra is a waste we got two summons of martel i already finished him i already finished Tsao Tsao. we got two frederick and a single caesar i feel like i should have got more than that right i don't know is this bad luck you guys can let me know in the comment section below but I feel like this was kind of bad luck. We also didn't get a full summon of Sunduk at all. That's crazy. Or Mehmed. Oh my god. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and see if I can add any skills to some legendaries in this video. It looks like we can do three of them. Um, let's scroll down here. Ooh, how far away from from another one on El Cid? We gotta be getting close. Yeah, 62. Okay. Let's go ahead and add a skill here. Oh my god, 120 out of 75. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. So we are three skill ups away from finishing our last gatherer um let's scroll down here and we're gonna find there she is the bad girl herself oh my god she's beautiful let's go ahead and add another skill to mulan she's almost 5511 and of course our boy ragnar we gotta throw that last one on him Ooh, we could almost add another one that's crazy we i can't believe i can't believe they put him in gold keys this is a trash ass legendary this is a garbage ass trash ass legendary bro I, I can't i can't i just i can't they could have put him in here why didn't they put him in the expedition shop dude oh wait we got some challenges here we got some challenges we've recruited enough epics we've opened enough gold keys let's go ahead and see what else we got here we got ooh, found some legends baby let's go ahead and claim these prizes what are we gonna get couple of resources absolute doo-doo okay whatever anyway that's gonna do it for this video guys i know it was sort of random and out there but i just wanted to get something up so that way I, you guys don't think i fell off the face of the earth here okay i'm just this this whole month september has been so busy for me and it's driving me mad because all i want to do is make content and i just i i haven't had the time to do it but that's gonna change soon that's gonna change soon keep keep just keep your eyes peeled okay keep your eyes peeled guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the video a ton it helps get the video out to that youtube algorithm you know the drill okay and it's like it's my birthday so go ahead and do that uh subscribe to the channel also because uh you're you know really the best people on the planet subscribe to this channel so that's i do truly mean that you guys let's pound it real quick let's go ahead and pound it uh for all the good ones out there comment down below what you guys feel about uh my anything whatever you whatever you're thinking about today okay are you kind of upset about the fact that they have mechanics like the watchtower in the game or are you just thinking about something else entirely whatever it is i hope you guys have a really good day with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace